okay so uh, the today's topic is uh, unit testing in go language and uh, see uh, the if you see the overall unit testing so it's a vast topic so probably today we'll cover only the the mocking part which is one of the important uh, part in unit testing so my name is praveen ranjan i'm from the soda team and uh, today we will see mostly the mockings types of mockings and uh, how you can mock the uh, functions methods of interface types and other things so today we will try to discuss all those parts mostly and i am assuming that a uh, little bit you are aware of with the unit testing part and how you are uh, means how to write the go go language programming and uh, any means small unit testing in the go language because those part will be required uh, because directly i'll be jumping to the most of the part in the mocking related things so this is the just assumption and apart from that uh, in my this demo i have taken a very small small example so i don't think it would be a problem but anyway we'll discuss all those things in the detail so as you can see here in the right side diagram we have test and let's say we have a block uh, on and this block we want to test it basically every in every programming language some dependency code will be there definitely so if you uh, write the unit test and if you call simply that function definitely dependency will be also get called automatically but in the unit testing we don't want to cover that dependency part so that's why uh, the left top top of part the dependency part we won't cover means the main uh, intention of the mocking is don't call the dependency call the some mocking or simply fake function fake dependency you can say that so this is the high level diagram now uh, in this picture i will show uh, the basic gyan of the unit testing and then we'll jump to the examples and part so if you see here this is the uh, overall a uh, uh, basic software let's say in that software there are so many modules controller service service one domain and database apis so many things are there but of course uh, you can't uh, test in the unit testing each and everything you have under the unit test under the unit testing you have to cover only one module for example service service one service n and controller so if you want to test this part only as you can see in the diagram service is calling to the service one service one is calling to the domain and domain is calling to the database right so if you want to test this part only of course uh, you have to cut the dependency from here to here otherwise simply it will be a integration testing right so for unit testing uh, we have to cover the particular module only and for that we have to cut the dependency that's the main thing if you want to do integration testing then it's fine we can cover till the dependencies and the functional testing from the api to end to end uh, we can do that but most of the important is to test your particular module or particular function and if in that function some dependencies are coming just try to fake it and get the result from the service one in this case if you want to test the service then of course you have to get the input from the controller output from the controller and service one so instead of calling controller and service one simply use the value or expected controller values output service one output and then uh, simply fill or simply put into the service module so that you can do the unit testing so this is the basic uh, structure what uh, we have to test under the unit testing what we have to test under the integration and under the functional things so mostly this uh, today's will focus only on the unit testing so we'll target to test a particular function where there are so many dependencies are there and we'll try to avoid those dependency by inserting some mock things and some fake data okay so uh, this is the basic I means some some art uh, it's just a theory uh, where uh, i have explained a little bit now uh, let's try to understand with one example okay so here this is a small very simple example from the main function we are trying to call the add addition and then if you go to the add 
there is a uh, another function known as the weight for simplicity i have written the weight here but this weight function can be part of different different services from the controller from the any any packages basically so the thing is that if you want to write the unit testing for the add of course you have to do something for the weight also right otherwise what will happen if you call the add in your test part it will call to the weight function and if you go to the weight function there are so many other dependency for example sleep will execute right so suppose if sleep is here only 5 second and if i will add 50 second or maybe uh, 4 minute or 10 minute 20 minute 1 hour then your test will take that much of time right so you don't want to test the weight part what you want to test is just a add function so what we can do is we can insert we can fake or we can uh, do something to avoid the waiting right so that we can do using the mocking there are so many frameworks uh, for now i will not discuss the framework i will just discuss the concept and the example okay so uh, i think you understand this part and uh, if you see this uh, the overall output i have the working uh, demo for this also quickly i will run this program so uh, the same same function i'm just running and if you see here so it is going to the i mean weight because weight is being called from the add and after 5 second wait the result is executed right and if you write the simple test for the same uh, function and in that you want to uh, basically test the module add not module function add so you can write this way simple testing framework uh, using the in the go language there is a testing uh, already built-in library you can use that uh, i am assuming that this is the basic part for any testing in the go and in that i want to test add method right and simply i'm just calling that so if you run this part see here I think it is taking from the cache, so slightly I will modify something. That's why it was fast. See here, now uh, in this test, from the testing also i am calling the same add method and now it is going to actual add of the example.go and from there it is calling the wait and that's why you can see that i am waiting it waited till the 5 second and then executed and if you see that the coverage is 66.7% because it covers this part as well as the dependency here but i don't want this part because simply it is killing my time right the five second uh, for each uh, unit testing it's just a waste of time and definitely in some unit testing we don't need at all so i have to mock it somewhere or somehow so there are so many functions there are so many way to mock that in the output okay so this page i was showing that here uh, this was the program and uh, simply i have written this uh, unit testing and if you can see that the right side coverage is it is uh, definitely covering the add part as well as the weight part which i don't want okay so this is the problem we got that problem that due to the dependency we will have the problem for uh, writing the unit testing for any function right so to avoid that there are some mocking concepts available uh, with the go and most of the part we will discuss today so one of the important is 
uh, one of the important thing is there are five types of uh, mocking and uh, there are some special special use cases for each and every types for example in some case maybe you you can use the interface substitution in some case you may use only a higher order function in some case maybe you can use the monkey patching and all right so one by one we will discuss and one by one we will see the example so first we'll start with the monkey patching so first of all what is the monkey patching so monkey patching actually uh, i think they have taken from the uh, the python and c okay so monkey patching is the method to mock the implementation of a function we replace the real function with another function right that accept the same parameters and returns the same output basically in the monkey monkey patching what we do that instead of passing the actual thing we pass the fake thing how we pass i will show in the next ppt but the disadvantage is if you want to mock a method of a struct or package okay we'll uh, read the disadvantage little later first let's understand what is the monkey patching so in mon monkey patching basically three steps you have to do first of all you have to modify your actual code what uh, and how you have to modify because you have to add some some extra variable so in monkey patching suppose if you want to avoid a particular dependency so what you can do that you can that dependency function you can assign to as a variable for example in our previous case here wait is a dependent or dependency function basically it is calling from the other service or other package for example so i want this to uh, patch it okay so i will what i will do that simply i will uh, this method i will assign as a variable so i assigned variable v as a wait and then in the main function instead of calling wait you just call the w okay so what is the same thing will happen instead of calling wait you are calling w and because w is nothing but wait so indirectly it is calling the wait method only and then in the test program whatever you want you can override that variable in your test program so the same thing same all those things we will see with the example so let's say i will share uh, the example okay so whatever i was saying i have just uh, uh, already written here as you can see wait in previous i was calling wait here instead of wait i am calling just w and w is nothing but the wait variable so simply if you run this program the same thing will execute nothing will change so for example i am running that go run this is uh, exam type 1 and example 1 right here this side so see i am in wait it is being called so i have modified little bit because directly i cannot patch in the previous example in previous example means directly i cannot patch this weight i can only pass through the variable some external variable and that's why i have created external variable here okay and through this i will try to pass that so uh, as i have shown here after modification there is no changing in the actual uh, thing the flow is as as it is the output is as it is each and everything is as it is now this code you can test now and this can you can uh, basically this code you can patch it the w weight you can patch it now through the external variable so if you see the test program for that what i have done that i have override this the external variable through my expected return value right so here in that uh, example it is waiting this wait if this wait will get called so it will wait always 5 second but i don't want i want instant result okay so simply i will return it the moment it hit the wait it will return it so now this external variable is patched with this current function 
basically i have overridden this the w variable okay and if you run this see instantly you get passed and uh, you didn't hit anything uh, related to this weight i am in weight you are not yet getting any output related to that and if you see that coverage is also less of overall file because i never went here i went till here and since w is now passed with the instant return simply it returns and execute the next line and it comes out so if you see the uh, previous case the output was around 66.7% uh, coverage of the whole file so in that it was covering this part also now it is not covering this part the same you can uh, means you can we can show through the so now i can see in the coverage file so see now it is skipping this part it is only covering this part so uh, now it's been proved that i have patched the instant return things instead of waiting uh, wait function for 5 second right so this is the one way to mock it simply i mock the wait dependency by uh, giving some external variable okay so that is uh, one type of uh, mocking known as the monkey patching.